Hey everyone. So, um, I just, well, the screw was taken apart. Now I just fixed my, uh, my gas gauge. And, uh, it's working now. I don't know if you see my other videos, it was empty and said it was empty. It definitely was not empty. So, uh, I just want to show you how I fixed it. So we got, um, after you take the seat off and the paneling, here's the gas tank on my scooter. Your, your gas tank might be down lower, but mine was up here. Um, so first off, there's this wire, and it'll be clipped under here. You might have to bend this up a little bit to get the wire out. And then you have this, this is the service panel for the, uh, the float. So you just got to take something and get it off. And just like that. All right. So now this is the service panel clip. Comes the light bulb just decided to turn on. All right. And uh, this is the top of the float mechanism. And you can see it inside of there. And uh, mine doesn't fit so swell in there because the pin's a little bit big. So you have to give it a little pull to get mine out. I'm just going to wiggle it around and then it comes out. So after I wiggled it around that pin that's sticking out, I could actually cut the pin so it'd fit better. So this comes up and there's a float. And then you got to twist the whole thing sideways and pull the float out. And now the float has gas on it because I fixed it just a second ago. But anyways, so here's your float mechanism that measures the fuel in your fuel tank. And um, right now, so the float is all the way up because I'm leaning back and the fuel reading is full. And then, let's see if I can get a better angle so I can show this in real time. All right. So we got float mechanism down here, you see the gas gauge, and then as you move it down, gas gauge is supposed to go down. So now it's all the way down, and it's showing E. And then now we put it all the way back up, full. So let's go all the way down and all the way up. And what happened on my scooter is uh, on this mechanism right here, the there's this pin. Let's see if my phone can view it. All right, there's a pin right there, and it was squeezing the bar down too tight, and it wasn't allowing it to move back and forth freely like that. And so I just took up that same pair of pliers I had, and I squeezed it up a little bit, and uh, now it's just freely moving. And um, do not put WD-40 or anything else like that on there. Because this is inside your gas tank and you don't want that kind of crap going through your system and your uh, fuel system or your carburetor. So uh, if anything, just loosen that pin just a hair so it can freely move. And then the gas gauge obviously works now and definitely was not working earlier. And then get that back in. Just take it, rotate it so it floats down, float in the hole, and just curve it in. And um, on my scooter, there's this little tab right here showing you where it goes. It goes right on that piece. Okay, and then it's going to get around a little piece of steel. Maybe that's why I was screwed up in the first place. Is the people who put the thing in there didn't cut the... All right, actually, I'm going to cut that while I have it out. Best pair of uh, clips I've ever had in my entire life. So I'm just going to clip a little piece off there. Let's try not getting it in the gas tank. Okay, one sec. i to move my hand on the clips. Alright, perfect. I got my hand covering up the gas tank so it couldn't fall in. And uh, now, it should just fit right in there. Perfect. Alright, and then... Let's go back on this side. And after it's in, it, you should be able, when you're pushing down, you shouldn't really be able to twist it because it's going to be locked in. Uh, it's got little grooves that lock. And you put this back over top. And you line up the, or uh, you can see how they got, the sides lipped, lipped and lipped. You know, line it up in there and then get the, the recessed side in each clip. Yeah, I can't do this with one hand, but you're going to push it down and twist it. It's all back together, and then, uh, as you can see, it's working now. 
Um, it's actually inaccurate. There's actually a little bit more gas than that right now. But the um, but the um, it's not tied down. As soon as you clip it in there, it'll work better. So uh, that's how I fix my float on my scooter because the gas gauge stopped working. And um, the only sign I can really tell you is if that is one of your problems would be if you're filling it up and it's not going up or uh, as you're driving it's not going down until you hit a bump. When you hit a bump then the float moves it goes and then all of a sudden your gas gauge is like oh okay so we're actually here. And what was really dangerous about this is it said it was full and I was driving it around like pretty far and I um, I hit a bump like on railroad tracks and all of a sudden it goes trip, all the way down there. So I'm like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. The gas gauge just dropped from full to E. So then I stopped and that's when I realized the, the scooter was blown out. And I have to fix the whole scooter. But anyways, that's how to fix your gas tank. If you guys uh, need help finding anything or anything, just comment and then I'll help you find out stuff. <laughs> Alright, see ya.